Good evening, silver tubers. It's Mr. Zeke coming to you from the silver pouring bench. Both tiers. So recently, I've had a lot of inquiries as to what all molds I have and what they look like and what I can pour. And so I thought I would do a tour. We're going to do a pouring tour and create a catalog of all the different pours that I've done over the last nine or ten months or so. Um, some of these you'll recognize right off the bat. There's the trump bar, the puzzle piece, the tree of life too. Um, some of these I made. I machined myself at work. There's the Noah's Ark uh, bar or the Ark bar. Um, here's the upper shelf. You see the lion in the tree of life and the mini tree of life and the lion shield. Um, the hand, hand carved tree of life that doesn't want to participate. And the very first mold that I ever got, the Jolly Roger. Um, there are a lot of ones in here that I may have only poured once or twice. There's the big kilo mold. Um, a lot of the bar molds you see I made myself at work, just machining graphite. There's the steampunk gas mask. Here's a mold I've never actually poured. It's the astronaut mold. Um, someone else started pouring it and I decided I try not to step on toes. Um, when someone else has a mold, I try to let them pour it and let them uh, express themselves through that mold. Um, so. I'm going to pick out a mold, probably five or six molds for each video, and continue with a video catalog of all the different molds that I have. And there's backed up. And that is what happens when a hobby becomes an addiction. So, <laughs> hang tight. I'm going to fire up the furnace and decide on which five or six we'll pour tonight. And let's commence with pour number one. We'll just let that one cool and we'll throw the next one in the heater. Time for pour number two for you. It's time for pour number two, says you. Some of these have only ever really been poured once or twice, so. It's kind of exciting because even I don't remember exactly what they look like. And there's pour number two for you. Who you? We're going to let that one cool. We'll be back with pour number three. All right. We're back for number three. Trace Dry Pour number dry Some of you people who've been watching the channel for a while will recognize some of these pieces Some of you who are new Won't That's kind of the whole point Try not to pour any of them super heavy because a lot of these will probably end up in remelt. So we'll set that right over there and we'll throw the next mold in. And pour some more, pour number four. Let's get this mold, should be piping hot. Good and hot, ready to receive some shiny goodness. We 
it should be good and melted. Let's adjust this in the crucible, or the tongs a little bit so I get a good pour spout. Good pour, righteous pour. I'm in the middle of, in between takes, I'm watching Vulcan's giveaway. Man, what a cool cat. Mr. and Mrs. Vulcan are amazing parts of this community. I, uh, they were, he's been an inspiration of mine since I started pouring. I think I saw Hi Ho's videos first, and then I saw Vulcan, and I thought to myself, Man, that guy's crazy. He's pouring into water beads. He's pouring into straw. This guy's, he's insane. He's literally an insane pourer. And I dug it. So I've been watching ever since. Hi, Mr. and Mrs. Balkan. And pour number five. These poor, these particular molds weren't chosen for any particular purpose as I was putting all the molds away. I just picked out a few. That I thought would make a good start to the journey. Set that over there. We're gonna look at them all when we're done. So, hang tight, be patient. And pour number six. I think by now the crucible's getting a little low on silver. I put 20, I've, I've put 20 ounces in it so far, so it's gotta be getting low. Cause I know some of these are a little chunkier and it's feeling a whole lot lighter now, so. I only had a couple more I was going to pour tonight. Hopefully there's enough left in the crucible for the last one. We shall see though. I'm going to heat it up. Because the last one is actually the first 3D mold I ever got. So, hang tight and we'll see if I can pour it. Alright, silver tubers. And we're going to pour the last mold, or the last mold for the night, but the first mold, 3D mold, I ever got. So, should be good and golden by now. Golden, like golden arms, like golden arms in Canada. I don't know what's going on with me tonight. I haven't had this much song. Well, I got my voice back. All right, here we go. This is a little, this one's a little wee bit tough. Okay, yeah. There we go. All right. Be back in just a second, and we'll flip each one of these over and see what they look like. Hang tight, everybody. All right, so let's check them out in order. Number one little bit warm was the Trump bar many of you remember this when Trump first got when there was even word that Trump might actually be nominated I poured a few of these the Trump bar number two is one of my favorites that I haven't poured that many of and that is the knight on the the dra riding the dragon Kind of what I've always thought was a crown type pour. Number three, some of these are still kind of warm, is the dragon round with the super high raised dragon off of the surface. And I apologize, these haven't been cleaned or anything. They still have uh, some of the cooling sand water on them. They polish up nice though. Good edges on them. A good night pouring tonight. Uh, number four is the, uh, there it is, the pirate round with the crossed, uh, 
anchors and sword. Number five is the skull. Uh, there we go. Get it right side up here. The skull with the dragon wrapped around it. Dragon's head's at the top. Skull is right in the middle. It's kind of a strange piece. The way it cuts off at one end. And number six, for those of us who believe there's a little bit more going on, is the all seeing eye pyramid or triangle or. And number seven, last but not least, the very first 3D mold I got was the Jolly Roger. And I poured quite a few of these for those of you who followed me way, way, way back when. Some of you even have the this pour before I ever had my Tree of Life stamp when I was just Mr. Zeke, no Tree of Life. So... That's the first installment, the first seven molds. This is episode one. We'll look forward to seeing you for future episodes. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a wonderful, wonderful Monday night. Cheers.